Hey everyone, and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida. You guys, today we're gonna do little, <laughs> little cash envelope stuffing, but I wanted to keep these budget videos coming so they're not just on Mondays now for Money Mondays, but um, I wanna cash stuff every Friday. Today is Saturday, so I'm thinking of moving it to Saturday, but um, I have to go back and retract for last week's cash stuffing. I think I stuffed $135. After I stuffed it, I'm looking at the dates on everything, looking at my bills coming up, and guess what? It was bill money. But it worked out where I didn't really have to use it all. I only used like 80 of it. So first, let's check for change and my tips. So here's my tips. I think I got some change in here. So here's my change drawer or change bottle. Let's drop that in. And I felt like I didn't have a lot of change this week, but I guess I did. So now we don't have anything. Now, y'all, here is the disclaimer <laughs> for this video. This was a slower week for me, work-wise, so you'll notice I won't have a lot of tip money. Now, I do have cash, but this is my booth rent, and I just didn't pay it yet. I haven't paid it yet, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. It's no need of me stuffing this into the booth rent envelope, okay? I have to pay that. So, like, once I finish this video, I'm going to go ahead and pay that. So, we're going to talk about my wins this week. And we're going to do, maybe, we're going to do some cash stuffing. Hold on, let me put this in the change drawer. Hold on. Okay, so now let's see how much we made in tips. And I am actually think I'm about 5 $10 short on this. So we have $40. Um, I think, like I said, I think I'm missing $10 out of this. And that's in the bank, but that's okay. So I'll move my tips over to the side. So what I'm doing basically, y'all, this is pretty much what I have left. Now, I, I do have my online store. We did pretty good this week. We had a sale. We had some new products. I'm leaving that in there. I'm going to probably use all of that for my Vegas trip. You all know right now I'm just funding Vegas and paying bills. And if I have something extra, I'll put it aside. So what I think I'm going to do is I have a Vegas envelope. Here it is. Oh, that's not it. Let's find the Vegas envelope. Hold on. Because I'm going to eventually just move everything to the the Vegas envelope. I'm going to put it in my challenge envelope. So I'm going to look and see if there's a $40 day. I did fund this. So that's what we're going to talk about this week. We're going to talk about, um, let's see if I got four. Here's $40 right here. Boom, bam, boop. Let me take that out. So, and I don't contribute, contribute to this every day. But what I've been doing like this week, I had... She wasn't a new customer. She's been to me once before, but she was last minute, kind of unexpected. And I made like 120 from her. Um, that's part of the tips. 10 is part of the tips. 110 was part of the um, payment. So what I did was I said, that's going to the challenge. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add this 20 to the challenge and we're going to count how much I saved in my challenge. So, so that's where my tip money is going. It's going into the challenge, which eventually will go to Vegas. I hope I'm <laughs> making sense. So we have $40. What's today? The 7th. Okay, let's see. And let me do some calculating. A 
Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see that, but we should have $330. Y'all, this is just two weeks of me doing this challenge and saving. Not, I didn't start on the first of the month or anything like that. So let me add those. And then I added $110 um, two days ago. And that brought me to 290. So we have 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 330. So we have $330 in our $2,000 challenge. I know I'm not going to have the 2,000. I anticipating having 1,500, but I don't see it because y'all, this is what kind of threw me off. I should have had more money to stuff, but what threw me off was all of my credit card bills were due on the 1st and the 2nd. So I just go ahead and pay them on the 1st. Like there was one on the 1st, the rest of them are pretty much on the 2nd and then the 4th. So I just went ahead and paid them all on the 1st. So like I said, some of that money that I cashed stuff last week was a part of that. Now, here's another win for the week. Let me get to it. Eating out. That envelope is empty. I'm so proud of myself. I used, I took, it was 40 in here. I used 20 the beginning of the week, I think Monday. Um, I didn't eat out again until Thursday. So I was like, oh good, I used my $40. And roughly it was, you know, t uh, change left, but that went into the one in five. I gotta show y'all that too. So I have eaten out again, like, yesterday last night and then the day so that just came out of whatever money i had in my bank account i'm not funding anything this week cash stuffing anything this week but my challenge which goes to the vegas goes to vegas because it's just it just wasn't there y'all i'm just gonna be honest with you it just wasn't there um this week was a very low income week i'm gonna go back to doing my weekly check-ins and then you'll see how much i made for the week and how everything was allocated Okay, I took money out of gas because guess what, you guys? <laughs> I, like, it was time for gas. And I had 20 in here, so I took that 20 out, put another 20 with it out of my bank account, probably out of that 135 or $80 that I put back in the bank. So that's empty. Now, next week, I'll probably have to put 40 and then probably use it. Okay, booth rent. Like I said, we could just take that 200 sticky in booth rent, but it's no point. Um, household. I had 20 in here. I took that out because I needed dishwashing liquid. I couldn't wait. I needed dishwashing liquid. I needed, um, I skipped on the paper towels, but I got dishwashing liquid, um, the Dawn spray. My dog needed dog food. So he, I need to get him his own envelope. And what else did I get? Oh, plugins. Instead of buying like three packs, I bought one. My total came up to like 40 something dollars, but this is what I did. Um, I was like, gosh, I don't have, you know, the cash. I put the cash in the account, but I was like, I don't have all of that. So what I did was I used my Walmart card and I'm just going to pay. I have a bill come up on the 25th. I'm going to put an extra 20 on it. That makes sense. Okay. I'm basically going to pay it back. Okay. Now I'm not doing the 1000 challenge. This is the 2K challenge and we have $330 in there. Y'all. It was rough this week, but I refuse to touch this. Okay, refuse. And then Christmas still has 10. I didn't touch that as bad as things was. I just said, nope, I'm not taking from there. So I took from things that I really needed. And if I could, you know, float the money, I would. Um, nothing in planning. Did I buy anything planning-wise this week? No. Um, and the one in five challenge. The one in five challenge, I should have 42. I added... Um, eight dollars two days ago on the fifth. So let's count that. We got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, and forty-seven. So $47 saving fives and ones in two weeks. Not bad. So, what I said, 47? Wait a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 
Okay, I'm off. So this should be 47. Unless I just threw some money in there and I just totally forgot. So let me change that to 47. Again, $47 for two weeks of just starting to save fives and ones. I'm not mad at it. Okay. And I'm still working on these little slips here. Um, I just want to make sure that they're perfect because I want them a little bit smaller, but they work for me for right now. So that's fine. So put that back. Now let's see. Nothing in vacation, which again, everything from the channel is going to go on vacation. I'm going to start everything back over in September. I think between Vegas and my bills, because I just decided to start saving for Vegas, which is sad because I need to go to Vegas in like less than two weeks. And those two things are just tying me up. So, and then we have my husband. And so nothing goes to debt this week. Nothing goes to eating out. I'm not stuffing nothing. Now, let's get into our next um, binder. I'm going to separate these binders, make them make sense to y'all. <laughs> but it works okay for me right now. Self-care, I left this $25 in here. This is one I just didn't touch because I'm going to go get a pedicure probably, if not next week, the week after that for... Um, Vegas. I wanted to do it this week, but I said, you know what? I might as well just hold off. Just oil the feet up and <laughs> they'll be fine. So I didn't touch that. I just knew I was going to have to touch this, but I didn't touch it. I'm still, again, this is a win for me because before seeing, knowing that I had this money, I would have spent it. I would have spent it. <clears throat> and then products. I took money out of products because I did get products and like I spent $29 so this went right away I put a negative 30 here that little tab I did I spent products so I had change left um I used Apple Pay to pay my um distributor so this went into the bank uh, miscellaneous went into the bank that was helping with like the bills and whatever and it probably went to food so we're gonna cancel that and that's that and there was no rollover. So, y'all, that's pretty much how my sinking funds went this week. But, again, I'm excited because... I mean, my sinking funds. That's how my cash envelopes went this week. But I'm excited because I've... Y'all, it's been a long time of me not saving. And just to have this in two weeks, I'm very proud of myself. I didn't even touch Christmas, okay? I know this is not a lot. But... I'm going to get back on Christmas once, I'm, like I said, I come back from Vegas. But again, the wins this week was not touching my challenge money, not touching uh, my one in five and adding to it, y'all. This envelope is sick, and I'm just loving it. So, that's that. Um, those are my wins this week. Even sticking to the eating out, like I said, I stayed within that $40 up until Friday, which I was supposed to do my video but it still came i still came out on top i still paid bills and again i didn't touch those other items and i was able to save so i'm still winning like i said i just threw let me make sure on the challenge i think i did 110 yeah i threw 110 at this challenge this week i didn't get to do every day but i threw some money there i think i did i did 90 dollars one day 110 on the second, then the fifth, I put 110. So, not bad. And hopefully, next week, I'll be able to stuff some envelopes. So, I'm thinking, like, not every week I'll be able to stuff because I'm still considered low income. And I'm just trying to make things do what they do with what I got. And I want y'all to know something. If you don't make a lot of money, it's not really how much you make. It's what you do with what you make. And as you can see, even on a low income, you can save. And I've really, like I said, I've just had a hard time with saving because I get paid cash daily or now, you know, you have Cash App or Zelle or whatever. But even with those things, you can always think of something that you want. 
And like this week, I invested in a mic for YouTube, um, another stand for my nail table. That's another update. I need to make an envelope for nail supplies because I do my own nails, if y'all didn't know. I do my own nails. I've done nails in the past for other people. So to create some more income, I'm going back to doing nails, um, taking on clients again. So that way I can make some extra money. Also, I'm just trying to figure out different streams of income. I'm looking into the survey thing. I need to pay down this debt and I will do it by any means necessary. I said, after I come back from Vegas, I may even look into Instacart. I don't know. I've got to make some money and it has to make sense. Um, and the only way to pay down this debt is to possibly get another job. Also, I no longer was working on Saturdays in the salon. I may have to go back to working on Saturdays in the salon, or at least if I'm going to work on a Saturday, I could be doing nails on a Saturday and it could supplement what I would have gotten in the salon. So I'm just trying to make money any way possible. I'm going to also um, sell some things around my home that I'm not using anymore. I'm going to sell that on um, Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark. My Poshmark probably will be listed below. So any planner items that I'm not using, I'll probably just sell them there. I'm um, trying to think other things I'm thinking of doing. Also, I'm doing my best to increase my um, YouTube following. So you guys, if this is your first time watching, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I would like to also take YouTube income whenever I hit, you know, to be able to be monetized, that will go towards debt as well. I just want to pay off this debt. I want to get to the point where I'm comfortable, not necessarily rich, but comfortable. We all kind of think we want to be rich, but I want to be comfortable. And I want to have a nice little nest egg in the bank. So I'm going to be adding new categories. Like I said, I need a nail supply category. I'm really, I just ordered, and that was another thing. I bought nail supplies this week. Didn't really need them, but I did. So um, I need a nail supply uh, category. Even though I'm, like I said, I have products to do people, I just like to have that money there. So if I need to go get something or if I need to order something, I can do that. Like I bought a light for the business. Um this week as well. So those will be categories. There was another category I'm going to add, but I'll show you guys when I update those things. I will see you guys next week. Like I said, I don't know what we're going to be stuffing next week, but I'm going to surely work hard and get this debt paid down. Again, after I come back from Vegas, I'll start that $2,000 challenge again, and we're throwing everything at Barclays. Okay. All right. I will see you guys in my next video. Again, if this is your first time watching any of my content and you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload content and I will see you guys in my next video.